Florian. Hi, hello everyone. <laughs> so what was that? <laughs> everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Uh, so, sorry for my accent. Um, I will try to speak better for English and American people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like you normally, you sound different. <laughs> your camera voice. I'll, I'll pass you, here you go, here's the camera, you can film me, I'm going to show everyone the Arga now. Right, so Arga is working fine. Let's uh, have a look. No, sometimes uh, you get a little bit of a, a flame that washes out when the oxygen gets in, but no, it's, it's fine. Uh, fire's burning nicely. Uh, it's been working fine, basically. Um, no problems. The new barrel that I've put in um, has been working much better. I've been noticing that the Arga feels a lot more, like the heat coming off of it seems a lot more even now. But let's have a look inside. Uh, I've got a new ash pan, because the other one was a bit, a bit dodgy, but that looks fine. Not too much ash in there. Everything's working fine. I've got it set to three. It's a good cooking temperature. No problems. There you go. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about something a bit different. Now, we had a bit of a tragic situation as far as the chickens are concerned. Basically, earlier this summer, the neighbour's dog, the neighbour's dog, by the way, is a complete psychopath. The neighbour's dog jumped over the fence one day, escaped from their garden, got into the wall garden, and it jumped over the fence into the chicken's pen and massacred nine chickens just like that. We thought we only had two left. We thought they, the, the neighbour's dog had killed ten. Um, because there was two left in there that the dog hadn't got. We managed to get save those two. But the next day, we found another chicken hiding, uh, and that chicken was Muriel, because we named them all Karen, because there were so many chickens. We named them all Karen, except for one chicken that was a bit different to the rest of them, had a bit of a, a quirky personality. So I, I named it Muriel, and that Muriel had actually flown over the fence um, and hidden. Um, so she's still alive, and we've got two Karens left, but for this summer, we basically had no chickens. So we finally decided to get some new ones. Um, and that was about a month ago. So I filmed when they arrived, but we didn't just get chickens. But you'll see in the video, we got some other birds as well. No doggies. No, get back, get back. All of you, get back. Well, we've just been to the market and we've got some new chickens because we had a bit of oh, an accident with the neighbor's chicken. dog. Yeah, the neighbor's dog got Dad, over, didn't Dad. it, Ernest? I only had like seven euros left. I said, what can I get for seven down. euros? And she said, oh, I'll give you two baby like chickens. <laughs> They'll lay next year, won't they? Put it down. 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 Put I've got nine laying ones. Same, the same, the same, the same. It's the same. And then I've got three different ones. The granddad? What? It's the same. One with me? Yeah. Look at these different colour ones. We've got a grey chicken. Wow. The grey chicken. Yeah. And a sort of half grey chicken. Calm down, calm down, love. There you go. Oh, get back, all of you. Oh, Missy, you now the grey chicken. Get down. Oh, oh, oh. A white chicken. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ma, ma, gra, ma, 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 ma. And another white, sort of creamy white chicken. There you go. Right. Well, I've already got a lot of cockerel as well. Oh, that's good. But it's only a baby. Uh, that's all she has, so. Wanted a cockerel. Because then oh, touch it. No, the cockerel no, might be a bit more no, aggressive no, no. with the dogs and yeah. kick them away. Did you run like it? You'd bite you. I think they're the baby duckies. Look at them in there. Duckies. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. It's the baby duck. Baby ducks. Look, three ducks. Oh. 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 It's your coat. And there's a baby chicken going there. 
Oh yeah, and that's the baby cockerel. Ah. Duckies. More. Oh, look at the little ducky. Oh, More. and this is our baby cockerel. Look at him. What? What's uh, it called? Isn't it? They're not the, the normal ducks. They're, they're um. What are they called? Oh, Nemo! They don't want to get down. Look, come on, stay with me. Alright. <laughs> I've got a new friend. Same with me, are you? Yep. What's in here? Ooh, this is. Hey. It's our little friend. Little friend. It's a turkey! It's a turkey! <laughs> <laughs> look a little thing, look. What is it? A bronze? Bronze, yeah. yeah. Nice and for Christmas time. Well, that's what she said it's for. Oh, it looks like the little duckies are about to go for a swim. No, or they're having a drink. We've been joined by a turkey there. So we actually just went back to the market um, because this little turkey looked a bit sad on its own. So we've got another two. So we've got three turkeys, three ducks, and we've got another nine chickens. Uh, well, no, we didn't get nine chickens. We got 12 chickens. We actually got nine laying chickens, uh, big ones, to replace the nine that got killed by the neighbour's dog. And we've got three little baby chickens that are just at the back there, hiding in the corner. So there's two females and there's one cockerel. Um, but he's a little baby at the minute, but hopefully uh, when he gets big, he'll be able to boss the other ones around. So there we go. And we went for a bit of diversity this time. We've got black chickens and white chickens and red chickens and grey chickens. Look at this one. Beautiful. And we've got one chicken. It's a black one. It's absolutely huge. It's that one at the back there, hiding underneath the, uh, the nesting box. There we go. A proper little farm. Just needs some sheep now and maybe some pigs. Right, let's go and have a look and see how these chickens have been getting on. So, Michael, I follow you. Okay. Right, so here they are, one month later. If you look at the ducks, they were little like yellow fluffy things before, like little babies. And now actually looking like proper ducks now. Why is Bertie barking? Bertie! Bertie! Come on! It's barking. The, what, basically, what the dogs do is they go to the fence and they bark at the neighbour's dog because they absolutely hate it, um, with good reason. Um, so here's, here are the chickens. I mean, when they arrived, uh, the, the chickens, the new chickens, they, they stayed in their coop for like about a week. They just didn't want to come outside. Uh, and they kept very separate from the other chickens, the ones that were here before. They didn't like each other for a long time, but now they're all best friends and they all hang around together. And the ducks have doubled in size. The turkeys have doubled in size, which is good. Um, and yeah, they're fine. But the only thing I've been concerned about recently is that they have, they have a water bucket there, which is fine. Uh, and they have this little, like a paddling pool thing, which is the ducks, the ducks like to swim in that. The only problem is um, when the ducks swim in it, they also do their business in there. Uh, and they also like to swim in this one as well. So. What's happening is the chickens are all drinking filthy water. Uh, and you know, you change it every day. Uh, it's clear, crystal clean water in the morning. Uh, and then by the evening it's brown again. So um, I've invested in um, this contraption, which is like a, a chicken water bar. Um, so you fill it up and it's got like a little, I'll just put this in, you fill it up um, and then it only releases a little bit at a time into this bowl in the bottom and the ducks can't get in there to swim. So um, as the water level drops here, um, more comes out of the, the top here. So they always get constant fresh water. So we're gonna put that in today and fill that up. I've also got, um, because at the minute we're putting their chicken feed into like a little trough here. And it just, um, you know, if it's been out too long or it gets wet, um, it's not good, You're not, it's not clean. And, it could attract mice and things like that. So we've got this special galvanized chicken feeder, like a hopper. So you fill up this part and then it just releases a little bit at a time into the bottom so that um, the food that in, is in the bottom is always fresh and clean. And we've also got another, this is like a, a similar kind of thing, 
Um, but this is so that the chickens, when they're in their coop at night, they have fresh water as well, because I've been noticing when you let them out in the morning, they all rush straight to the water. So maybe they're getting thirsty in the night. So um, we're gonna put that in the chicken's pen as well. They'll be okay overnight without food. They can eat when they come out in the day, but for night time, they're gonna have some water as well. And then I need to get a hose pipe and fill it up. It'd be good if I took the base, wouldn't it, Florian? Hello, Titi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh. you? You need I uh, take something, Michael? No, no, it's okay. Oh. I come or...? Yeah, you can come in if you yeah. want. Here's Muriel. My little friend. Hello. How are you doing? What's wrong with you? She's normally really friendly. Hey, come here. Hey, 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 hey. She's gone a bit feral since the other chickens arrived. Normally she would let me pick her up. But... So these are the two baby ones. This little one here on the left, he's going to be uh, a cockerel um, because we haven't actually got one. And I asked the woman at the market where we got the chickens and the ducks and the turkeys from, have you got any cockerels? And she just pulled out this little baby thing out of a box and um, said, yeah, that'll do. It'll get bigger eventually. We've got that and we've got a new female one. She's the one in the in the trough there. Yeah. Anyway, mm, I'm still not sure. I think it needs to be somewhere. It needs to be near the edge so it's easy to fill up. But it also needs to be somewhere where they can all stand around it. So I think maybe here is a good place. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, where would be a good place to put this? Maybe here. Needs to be somewhere level. Oh, maybe I'll just put it here. Near the water. There we go. Oh, okay. See, it just comes out of the bottom. Just, mm. just enough. That goes on there. That's good. Right, I'm just going to switch on the hose pipe. Fill up the water. There we go. Oh dear, I think we've got a leak. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not pressure. Too much. Maybe there's a kink in the pipe somewhere. Yeah, that's why I look for the kink in the pipe. There we go. <laughs> oops, oops. <laughs> Not on me, my car. Right, so the good thing is I can fill it up without having to go in there. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go in there to get that then. There you go. Basically, once the water, I believe, once the water gets above this level, it stops emptying into the um, into this bowl. So as the level drops, once they, as they drink it, it just releases fresh, clean water. Yeah, it's good. yeah very dirty. It's just full of duck poo. Yeah, because the ducks swim here. Yeah, the ducks swim in it and then they, they poo in it as well basically yeah maybe um and then the chickens come and drink that because there's no other water there's, there was water there before i'm hoping that the chickens will come to this because they know it's clean water i'm sure hopefully they can taste the difference they'll be in good shape like yeah. shoemaker <laughs> full of rubbish aren't you because uh we we will do, we will do we we take again the train soon. Oh, we're going to start training again, yeah. Going to the gym. Well, I didn't train for a while. Uh, yeah, look, clean water. They used to be so. Oh, that's oh. cool. That was quick. <laughs> well, anyway, let's fill this one up as well. This one you have to do it upside down. Can 
confetti. <laughs> That's overflowing. Thirty. what we've been feeding them. This, is, this stuff's called pondoose. It's like a, a sort of complete chicken food. Well, not just chickens, it's for all birds. Um, and then in, in it, I've mixed in these, um, these pieces of corn. The corn is mainly for the turkeys. The turkeys seem to like it more than the other chickens. Um, but they got that. And then they've got this, which I've just put in there, which is just a mix for all birds, chicks, chickens, it says it's good for pheasants, turkeys, ducks. There is one chicken and he's absolutely massive, is this one. It's got a really angry look to it as well. <laughs> oh, this is quite interesting as well. The chickens don't wash themselves, not in water, not like ducks do. But what they do is they have dust baths. So somewhere, like over here, here you go, that's one of the chicken's dust baths. Uh, and what they do is they sort of roll around in the dust, dig little holes, and they, um, and they brush the dust over their feathers, which takes away the dirt. So that's how they keep themselves clean. So the ducks I've discovered um, are called Indian runner ducks. And they lay between 300 and 350 eggs per year, um, a healthy female. Um, and we've got three of them. And duck eggs are absolutely delicious. Look, the turkeys are going a bit crazy there. Duck eggs are absolutely delicious and are much better for baking cakes than chicken eggs, apparently. So, um, yeah, we've got three of them. And they're actually getting quite big now. Well, that one has discovered the water. Hopefully the other ones will copy it. The only problem is we've got... 14 chickens, yes. and at the moment we're getting one egg per day. So, so these new chickens, and they're, they're, they're young chickens, they're probably about a year old, they're just not laying eggs. I think it's that time of year though, because we've just gone, we've just had the um, autumn equinox. It's, it's, it's basically the start of fall now, autumn, so I think this time of year the chickens stop laying. Anyway, it'll be fine. At least it gives them the option of Okay, make her. Yeah? Coffee? Coffee, yeah, let's have a coffee. Yeah. French coffee, please. French coffee? Yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't got French coffee. I've only got Colombian coffee. No, thanks. I prefer French coffee. Titi, you want a coffee? She wants one of the chickens, probably. <laughs> oh, I'm actually washing my hands. <laughs> I'll tell you what. My hands... I don't know what it is, if it's either working or being outside in the garden or in the cottage or filling this thing up with coal. I've constantly got filthy, filthy hands like under my fingernails. I have to use a nail brush like three times a day to keep them clean. They'll be uh, clean for a few more hours. And we go to the gym. You want to go to the gym? Okay, fine. The thing is now it's getting dark at 8.30 here. Very early, yes. Very early, yeah. Coffee grounds out in the garden. I've been putting them at the base of the roses at the minute, just because there's a rose bush there and there's a, a, a wisteria that grows next to the front door. So I just get my coffee grounds and chuck them out into the flower bed. Uh, it's apparently really good for the plants. So I take uh, coffee ice. Do you want iced coffee or just? Iced coffee. Okay. Are you, are you gone mad or something? It's yeah. Christmas, yeah, Jingle Bells. Yeah, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. It's only, it's you got three months. Yeah, it's three months. That's it, actually, I'll show you this quickly. I've been, well, before I start editing this video, I'm actually working on another video at the minute. A special video, which is kind of a look back at all the best bits uh, from the YouTube channel. Let's start this. <laughs>
you go. You'll have to wait uh, until it's released to see the actual, the full length one. That's just like an early, an early rough edit, but I've got thousands and thousands of videos to go through, like that I filmed. I've got everything all on here. This is two terabytes uh, and it's full. And then the laptop's got one terabyte and that's full as well. And that's all the footage that I filmed in the last 18 months. So yeah, we'll get there. Okay, for this time, Michael, I finished the video. I try with my friends like son to finish the video. You want to finish the video? I try. Come on, you try, try your best. <laughs> I do my best. So uh, I have to see you our next time for next video on doing it ourselves. Um, I wish you uh, a nice week and a nice weekend. So have a nice it's weekend. Nice weekend. It's Monday. And take. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know when the video exit. Probably so take care of you and see you soon. Bye. So you're gonna have your own YouTube channel now? No, you haven't for the Every man and his dog's got one now. You might as well start one as well. What is a idiom? I don't understand. The idiom? Yeah, the idiom. Yeah, every man and his dog. What it means? Well, it just means everyone. Everyone? Everyone and their dogs. Ah, so I'm everyone. No, 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 Florian. I said. You should start a YouTube channel now because every man and his dog has one. Ah, oh, okay. So I can begin to move. Yeah, Antique is going to start one as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know this idiom. Oh, you do. It doesn't exist in France. Every man and his dog. Okay. Yeah. I learned a lot. Yeah. Right. So on that note, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and have oh. a nice weekend. <laughs> it's not a weekend, it's the week. Have a nice... Have a nice day. Have a, have a nice day and take care of you. Okay. <laughs>I look like I've got little sandals on. That's on. Sandals. That's okay. Right. What next, personal trainer? We go to sleep. Sleep? No, we go, we go to die. Go to die? <laughs> okay, fair enough. We go to the war. If it makes me, uh, um, I don't know, about 10 kilos lighter, then I'm quite happy. So yeah, so we're at the gym. Welcome to another video. Oh. Massive. Whose idea was it to come to the gym at 9.30 at night? It was your idea. It's like some creepy, look, it's got a weird flashing light. Yeah. Right, let's go.